Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today, I got a Valpolicella for $8. Yeah, let's see if it's any good. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, so like I said, today I'm reviewing a Valpolicella I got for $8, which is fairly rare whenever I'm going to the store. Normally they're $10, $12 plus. Uh, but before we get into the review, make sure that if you like today's videos, you subscribe to the channel and click that notifications bell so you can see when future videos are posted. So this is the Bolia Val Valpoliacella. I can't talk today. This is the Bolia Valpoliacella. It is 12.5% alcohol by volume, 2017, and I got it at Total Wines and More for $8. So let's pour a sample. I really like Valpolia Chill. It's just, it's one of those wines where it it just pairs well with so many things. You can drink it on its own, you can pair it with food, especially Italian food. And I mean, it doesn't have to just be like pasta and sauce type dishes. It also pairs well with meat, um, even some grilled meats like grilled pork, grilled beef, uh, steaks, stuff like that. So, I mean, this is a wine that I feel like is very versatile and not a lot of people really know about it or at least not a lot of people who just kind of go to the store and grab a bottle off the shelf. A lot of people just think Cab, Merlot, Fat Poly Chella. Try it out. So what, let's see if this one's worth trying out. From a color standpoint, you are a light ruby. Light ruby, no artifacts, no cloudiness. From a nose, oh, wow. There is, there is a nice gaminess to this wine already. Ah, okay, so I'm getting, I'm getting like red currant, black cherry, like a little bit of a black pepper note, like a dried fruit. It's, it's almost like it's a lot of the fruit is dried. Yeah, I mean, really, it's like black pepper, black cherry, um, red currant, and dried fruits. Um, there's also a, it's almost like a slightly floral hint, like a, I might be getting the flower wrong, but it might be like a violet. Just really like a small touch there. All right, so from a taste, say medium plus tannins, medium plus acid. Lots of, so, so while I was smelling dried fruits, they do have that taste. They, they do take, almost like they're all the fruits were raisined in, in terms of like the clusters. But they also have this nice really sour tinge that pops in. And that gaminess that I, that I was smelling before is very subdued all the way through the tasting. It has a nice salinity to it also. Almost like it was like kissed by sea breeze. Like you're sitting out on a beach, kind of waves crashed up a little bit. A few drops got into your glass and you're like, Damn, that enhances the flavor. That's exactly what this is like right now. Mmm. Now that I've had a little bit of it, I'm getting this really good cranberry. Oh. Oh man, that's good. It's over. It's starting to blend in with with a lot of the other flavors, like the black cherry and a little bit of cranberry. And I'm getting like this red currant. And oh man, this is good. All right. So let's do the categories. Balance. Yeah, everything's in balance. Uh, you have the right amount of a uh, alcohol, you have the right amount of acid, you have the right amount of fruit. Your body is quite nice. Yeah, you get a full check on that. Length, medium plus on the length, so I'm still only going to give you half because I only give a full point if it goes long, but you do have some finish to it, especially for such a light body wine. That's pretty impressive. Intensity, ah, you have a good amount of acid, you have a good amount of fruit flavors. The alcohol is the right intensity. It's not too high and it's not but it's not so little that it's not present. So I, I'll give you a check on that. And then complexity, you do have a reasonable number of fruit flavors. I'm, I'm getting some red fruit and a little bit of dark fruit. I'm getting some raisin notes. I am getting some secondary and tertiary, even though it's only a 2017 and it's still developed a little bit. Um, so I'm going to give you half check there because those other aging notes can always get better. So that gives you uh, like, what is that? Like three, two and a half checks. And we're gonna, I'm just going to give you a very good you're, you're an $8 buy, technically $7.50, but I round up. You're an $8 buy, and I would totally buy you again. Shit, I would almost buy a case of you at this point. This is just a really solid wine to have in stock, and I highly recommend it. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the 2017 Bolio Valpoliacella? Be interested to know if you have. 
leave a comment below, and I will see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.